Good evening, welcome to Atlanta RV. This is Mark Spears, and I'm gonna give you a quick tour of our shop. All right, looking out in the shop here, this is our front area. In the front area is where we work on cars. We got some race cars that we work on. We have a lift that we can pick up all of our RVs, I mean all of our, um, in the front area, we have a lift that we can pick up cars with. And then we have a forklift that comes in handy for most of our work. So we have one big bay door to enter in the front. And then we got some storage on the side. Um, here you can see some of the stuff we typically work on, air conditioners, refrigerators, generators, and um, and then a little metal for sheet metal work. And then take a look back here. This is a small van that we've been working on. And um, with this one, we're repairing the air conditioner and fixing some leaky windows. And back in this area is our woodworking area. So we've got some supplies and some scrap wood uh, some sheet goods and so forth so that we can uh, fabricate whatever we need to do repairs. We've got an RV here that's one of our rental fleet units that we're doing some repairs on. And we've got a tow dolly that we can use to tow cars behind the RVs. And then we have, uh, over here we have a 1995 Airstream Excella Classic that we're working on. It's a 35 footer and we're doing a complete interior and exterior restoration on it. Um, we've taken out all of the material from the inside, all the furniture, all the fixtures. You can see a lot of that there. It's all in really good shape. The, the plan is that all of the existing furniture is going back in, although we will be putting new uh, um, upholstery on everything. We're resealing up everything. Uh, going to be resealing these battery boxes. But you can get a good shot down the side here. As you can see, the uh, finish is pretty dull, and a lot of the, the uh, decals have, have peeled away. We're going to be repairing all of that. We've already put new um, brakes and uh, redid all the bearings, uh, put all new tires, and repainted the wheels. And that's looking pretty good. You can see some of that back here. Um, it's a three axle, which is unusual. They don't make any of those today. But it is a big, it is a big trailer. Back here you can see an area where we've done some testing on our polishing techniques. And uh, this area here shows an area that has been polished quite well um, and then different levels of polishing up to the um, you know the way we got it you can see the clear coat is is all faded and dull but this entire thing will be polished by the time we're done we've redone all of the uh, leveling or stabilizer jacks we've taken them off, refurbed them, and repainted them. So they're ready to go back on. Back here we can show our metal working area. We've got full capabilities to fabricate whatever we need in steel or aluminum. Um, this is our TIG welder here that we got from Eastwood. And our press and our chop saw and drill press. And then this is a pretty nice woodworking, uh, metal working table. And then uh, we've got a small um, metal brake, uh, looking to get a larger one. This is an example of some of our fabrication. This is actually a box to hold four AGM six volt batteries in a project I'll be showing you in a couple of minutes. And that um, box we designed in house, it replaces, uh, in, it goes in the same place as a 2500 watt Onan propane generator and this is a diagram here that um, 
I actually designed. Um, got a 3D model of it there. That's what it's going to look like when it's done. Back here is some of our uh, storage area for materials such as pipe and aluminum trim, which you use quite a bit refurbing these RVs. And then in this area, we've got uh, full capability for doing tires. We've got a balancer and a tire changing machine, mounting and balancing, in-house here at Atlanta RV. Over here, you can see some of our other work areas, tool areas. Um, this is our workbench. We use these scaffolds as workbenches so we can put them wherever we want. And um, got a bench grinder and uh, put some power outlets on the side of this one that makes it handy. And uh, large extension, large um, collection of tools and more of these metal tables that we've made. Over here, you see an example of a project we've been working on. This is a road track RV. It's a sprinter chassis made by Mercedes-Benz. It's the diesel and um, very nice RV. We're doing extensive work on it in terms of the electric system. We're doing solar panels and uh, inverter charger, 2000 watts. Um, some stuff up on the roof. We've got some antennas for cell booster and Wi-Fi booster. We're replacing all of the propane appliances with electric. So we've actually removed the propane tank and we've replaced the standard suburban gas furna uh, water heater, gas water heater with a electric water heater. It's actually a gas or electric, but in this case, we'll only be using it in the electric mode. You can see the vents over there where the old gas furnace used to be. We are capping those from the inside so we won't have any leaks, but it's actually being replaced with a 1500 watt electric heater. Now, there's also a heat pump in the rooftop mounted Dometic Penguin air conditioner. So between those two sources, he should have plenty of heat in a... Uh, in the winter time. We've actually removed the propane tank that normally is down in this area here. The refrigerator behind that panel will stay uh, as original. It's a three-way fridge so now it'll work on electric in either 12 volt or 24 volt mode. Let's take a climb up the ladder and take a look at the solar panels. There we go. This is the roof of the road trek, and we've got Renogy brand solar panels. There's each are 100 watts, and there's three of them, so it's a 300 watt system. And those daisy chain together, in this case, they're parallel 12 volt units. Comes back, uh, penetrates through the roof, and goes down to the charge controller. While we were up here, you can see this antenna here that we mounted using a marine style. Um, mast antenna mount and then the, um, the cell phone booster is uh, over there and we mounted it to the side of the awning. And again this Dometic Penguin air conditioner came from the factory with a heat pump design so it provides air conditioning and heat. While we're up here as you can see we've got a full 25 foot high ceiling, a clear span which allows us to bring in the larger RVs and do all the roof work that we need to. And our parts area is up on the mezzanine uh, over in that corner and then we've got a, got a room there that's actually got a washer and dryer and dish washers that we use for our rental business so that we can keep all the kits clean. One of the things that I'll show you here in this van 
It has AGM batteries right now. They're 12 volt AGM batteries in parallel. We're going to be replacing those with 6 volt AGM batteries from Trojan. And those were on this pallet over here that I don't know if I showed you. But these are the 12 volts. Four of those will go in that frame we're building. And then those two will go in the front under the hood. Okay, over here we can take a look inside the the road trek. You can see down below here, to the right is where the water heater was replaced, to the left is where the new electric heater is going to go. And then in here you can see where the uh, new electric stove is going to go. The electric stove is actually being inserted in the hole here where the gas uh, stove top used to be. We had to add electrical connection and it's going to go right in, no problem. Back here you can see that's our uh, remote control for the inverter charger and then the inverter charger is down here and then up in this area you can see where the wiring comes in up here on the left that's where the wiring comes down from the solar system and also for the antennas um, with the antenna boosters that's an internal antenna for the booster that will be mounted and that's the Wii Boost unit that goes with that and then the Wi-Fi booster this is the, the uh, the in inside antenna right here. Down below you can see our charge controller. That charge controller is for the um, solar panels on top. It takes 12 volts in, puts out a PWM output to feed the um, feed the batteries. So that's that's mostly what we're doing here. The um, take a look here under the driver's seat is where a lot of the DC electrical controls are that's the original 750 watt inverter charger which uh, is being upgraded to the 2000 I showed you in the back but the other stuff stays here the battery disconnect and a couple of fuses and then up here this is where your main DC distribution is and that's where your uh, D, your AC breakers are and all your DC fuses for the various subsystems because the uh, heater water heater and the um, stovetop will be powered off 120 and they're new circuits so we need a way to start and stop those so we're gonna have this little panel here um, we use these these are called blue C system circuit breakers and they're uh, panel mounted circuit breakers um, and so you'll have the ability to turn each circuit on and off from these breakers and that provides load circuit protection this will be mounted in the back near the bed area where it's easily accessible All right. Well, thanks for joining us today. And uh, come see us at Atlanta RV. If you've got a vintage trailer that you'd like to have us refurb or repair, newer RV um, from diesel pushers, we can do the air systems, the diesel systems, engine transmission, suspension, um, and then all your appliance repairs, air conditioners, refrigerators, uh, generators, both diesel, gas, and propane. And then um, all the other stuff, um, you know, windows, upgrades, 